Hello and good day to you. Today's video will be designing and knitting a cardigan for a seven year old using the design and knit software and the Silver Reed SK280 knitting machine. Although the Silver Reed SK280 knitting machine is a punch card standard bed knitting machine, flat bed knitting machine, won't be using the punch card part of it or the punch card system. We'll be using the knitting machine like a manual knitting machine, just a manual part of it. To design our garment, to we'll use the standard garment styling part of the design and knit software. So click on the standard garment part, new garment. The wearer is a child and the gender is female. You can use any gender you desire. The garment tie is cardigan. Sleeves, we are using a setting sleeve. The front neck, I'm going to make this round and the back neck, I'll make it straight. You can use any of them as you desire. I just want to make the back neck straight. I don't want too much work. After that, click OK. Mighty complete version. That's why you have the hand knitting part and the machine knitting part. So you just click on the machine knitting part and click OK. I'm using the Silver Reed standard punch cards, which has a needle of um, 200. It's a needle bed of um, 200 needles. Select the knitting machine you're using and click OK. That you are using and click OK. Here we have to put our tension. So here we have to put our tension. The tension for my card is 14.8. For 40 stitches in centimeter for me, it's 14.8 centimeter. Why 60 rows in centimeter? For me, it's 13.2 centimeters. I'll do the same for the cuff and the weld. And here's 13.2. So, uh, here we're going to write, um, if you have a note to put, I love putting the tension by in case I open my software next time or do some pattern, this some um, garment and styling. I want to know what I use the knitting machine that gave me this tension and so on. So I'm going to put tension eight, and I'm putting. I'll, I'll add the knit, name of the knitting machine, two eighty SK two eighty. I think that's fine. Then I'll for this um, note about the shape. I am knitting it in stockinette, so I'll put stockinette. The yarn I'm using 100% acrylic. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. But I love doing it. You can even put the brand. So I'll say Robin by Thomas B. Ramsey. And there are other information you can add to it. It's just a plain yarn. So if I say 100% acrylic, double knit. Okay. And um, it's, I can say plain colors. Okay. That's all right. And then you can also write seven year old, but it's going to appear when you save your work if you want that. So I'll just click OK here. We're going for the ease we are using is classic. I don't want it to be loose. I want to be fitting. So click classic and then OK. Don't go to standard size. For me, the measurement, um, I'm, I'm using a sewing pattern measurement for a girl of seven years old. And it reads that the height is 127 
centimeters, the chest is 66, the waist is 58, and the hip is 68. So I'll look for something that's close to that. I think this is close to it. Let me see. Okay, this is 60. Okay. This one being selected is close to it. I'll click OK. We can still alter the... We, you can still alter it if you desire in the next um, part. So I'll just click on the, six to f the one with chest 65, waist 58, and hip. 70. So I'll click OK. Here you can make any alteration. I like the, I've met a child of 7 year old already and I think I like the length of this garment. It's alright because I'm, um, the way I want it is going to fit properly on that length. She's going to use the skirt on it. I don't want the cardigan to be too long. So this is fine with me. But if you want to change, you can just change and make any alteration you want to. You see, you can change it. But I'm just going to leave it at um, 45. And then click OK. Any time you click on each one, if you look at this icon here, it shows you what you're measuring. That's for the chest. That's you measure body from the back to the front of the chest. Those those. So you split your garment into half here. This for the waist, round. This for the shoulders, tells you. And nape, of, um, nape to garment length. That's the back of your neck to the garment, where you want the garment. So this one is, this um, size is alright for me. This is arm length. I'll just go with it. But you can alter it if you want to. I'll leave the ease the way it is. And I'll just click OK. Because I'll be using sewing machine to... Uh, so this um, garment together and I'll click OK so here we have our garment but we, if you notice if you notice you see that um, it's as if we have a tiny zip here where they meet we had the two bands meet in front and I want it to overlap because I'm using buttons I don't want to put a button on the left button on the right and start looking for twine to join them together or Looking for a button that has those kind of clip. This for a child, and I want it to be easy on them. So I want it to overlap. With that, I'll come to this icon here, styling for the garment body. This vest icon, I'll click on it. We can now make changes. And if any time you click close to it to make an alteration on the numbers or to change the numbers, you will notice a circle on. A part of the garment and a line they're telling you what you're changing where you're changing where you're making changes on for the world i think i'll go with four centimeters i'll remove this one i just want to change that we don't want those um to, the body blousing we don't want the cardigan to skate out that would be like an a line shape so i'm not going to do any body blousing to it Maybe I can do that for the spring jacket I'm doing next. Then body straight. No, I'm not changing that. The overlap is what I'm changing. I'm not changing the shoulder drop because I don't want it to drop. And the armpit seam, I'm not doing that. So I'm going for only the overlap. For the overlap, I'll just play around and see 2.3 and see what will happen. Uh, I don't like it. Because it, it didn't cover it fully. It's not overlapping properly. I still have, I can this is some edge of the, should I say the left hand side? Yes, that's going to be the left hand side. When I'm walking facing it, it's like the right, but it's left hand side. I need it, I want it to overlap properly. So I'm going to just go for three. Yeah, that's fine. See, it's overlapping neatly. I like, I like this. Okay, so. I'll leave it at that. I'll click on apply and then OK. I'll go to the second icon that um, has that for the that's the styling for the garment neck. You can see like a round neck um, vest, but just showing up to the small. <laughs> so we'll go with 
the neck band. So for the neck band, I want it to match the same width of um, the welt. Now I change that. So I'm going to make four. I want the band to be four. That means I have to go back and alter this. And the neck width, I'll leave it like that. And the neck depth, I'll leave it like that. I'll click on apply. I'll click OK. Okay, I've done two, for three because I made these three to overlap. Then it won't have been this wide. Okay, let me change it back to three. If I go to three, let me click on three for the neck band. I'll click on apply. Okay, it's overlapping. Okay, let me go for my vest and click for the welt. I'm going to click the welt. I'm changing it to three. Let me not make it too big. So I'll click that. I've already, um, for the welt. I've changed. I've gone to change the welt back to three. Three centimeters would be all right for me. For that. Okay, so I'll click apply and OK. Then we'll go for the sleeves. For the cuffs of the sleeve, I'll make it three so that it matches the hem to the welt. I'll, I'll go for three. And if you see here, apply, OK. I'll bring it back. I just want to move this. Okay. The, I, the sleeve icon, you click on it. And if you see, it shows us where we are altering for the sleeves. I've already changed it to three. And you click apply and you click OK. So that's what we're changing. Just that for the sleeves. Here is for the body guard. Before you gather, after you gather overall, extra, anything you want to change your chamber. I'm not going to alter this. I'll just leave that. I like the way the upper part of the sleeve is. And I want it to fit. Probably. I don't want to do any alteration. So now this is our garment. I'll just go back, recheck my measurement before I save. So I'll click on the next styling again. And the neck band is, you see, three. The width of the neck band is um, three. So the neck width. I think I'll leave that and the uh, neck depth, I'll leave it like that. I'll, I'm not changing anything. So here, the body styling. I'll go for the, I'll check the welt is three. So it means all my cuffs, both the cuffs of this garment, of this um, cardigan, both the welt, the band, and the cuffs for the leaves they are going to measure three centimeters so that's all right with me after that i'll click on five i'll click on save as or save so i'll go to save us and i have one already here before so i just click on this seven year old seven years cardigan with round neck i'll click on save yes i want to replace it Okay, <laughs> I take it to the computer screen. If you don't have the interactive part of it, which is um, this um, knitting machine icon with um, the knitting yarn icon, you can click on print out. But apart from that, it's necessary to click on print out too. Why? It's because you need the information, you need to know how many rows you're going to need for the welts. The bands and the cuffs. And this can only appear in the printout. Funny enough. So when you go, let's take the sleeve um, left and you go to text summary. Just click on text summary. When you click on the print icon, you click on sleeve left and click on text summary. Then next. And then click on preview. Scroll down. So you see all the info we put on the for the tension and the notes about the file and everything. That's fine. If we want to delete that, we can delete that later on. All right. So now it's going to, for the sleeve, we'll be cutting on left needle 28 to right needle 28. 
that's for the slave. And if I you and you see the left side of the cardigan is telling us what you're going to pick for the rib band. Telling us uh, about the left front neck too, the back neck, the right front neck, and the, and you can find this in standard garment styling. That's why I love using standard garment styling for garments that have um, cuffs on it because it gives me this information of how many rows I need to knit to me for my welts. Okay. So I just go to close and um, we just take another one. Let me close this one and open again the print. Click on the print icon and let's take the back and the text summary. Then you click on preview, scroll down, and you see the information. Here we have to click um, cast on left needle 48 to right needle 48 for the back. And we need to need 14 rows of world, which three, which uh, for three centimeters of world. So think uh, we've already saved our work, but if we want to close this design, I need you to tell us. Um, what to i'll just click on interactive meeting said you want to save anything no i don't want to i'm opening it in interactive meeting and i'll start from the back in the so, so what we are going to do I, i'll need this the back the left front neck and the right front neck Oh, sorry. I'll need the back, the left front and of the cardigan and the left sleeve of camera. Then on camera, I'll need the right sleeve and the right front because I don't want to duplicate. It's still the same, the same instruction. Only the back that is different instruction, but I'll just need that of camera so that the video won't be too long. I have um step by step video or when I did the back separately, you can check those ones up too. So until then, see you on the knitting machine when we need this cardigan. Have fun. <laughs>